cell down there. So severe thunderstorm warning here for the Enid area. And we'll take a look at that. Uh, again, severe thunderstorm warning there. La Homa back up through Hillsdale, uh, back towards Enid. Severe thunderstorm warning there. And then I want to go back towards the Oklahoma City metro here. And we'll take a look at the activity that we have closer to uh, the metro. That's where Trey is, Trey Smith. And again, this storm, it's hanging on. Um, it's not doing a whole lot, but this is still at least a uh, quarter size hail producer. And again, winds near 60 miles per hour. Uh, Trey, let's go and go back to your uh, live shot here and uh, go ahead and give us an update with what you're seeing. Still looks like there's a fairly decent base with that cell though. Oh yeah, this, hold on. Yeah, this has a great, sorry, I had to see if I had you on mute. This has a great base on it. We keep seeing uh, little fingers drop out of it too. Every now and then they, they, they try and they just go back up. But uh, this thing is just built down here, just spinning like a top. It's not really fast, but it's, it's definitely not just sitting still. The storm motion, though, is kind of just almost stationary to me. Yeah, it's not moving. This one here is slowed down quite a bit for sure. Uh, now, again, this one is just southwest. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you there, Trey. This one is just southwest of the Oklahoma City Metro. And uh, so again, there's a tornado watch in effect. The storm right now, I mean, this is what we would call more of a low end severe storm. Uh, that's uh, Trey's live shot of it there. We'll take a look at live radar here as well. And, and uh, again, this is, folks, what we call a bona fide supercell. Big hail core here, lots of heavy rain uh, from Renfro all the way down through Medford. And Travis, this hook is, this hook is trying to come around now on us. So uh, now, are you in Pond Creek or did you say you're north of Pond Creek now? I'm in Pond Creek getting fuel and then I'm going to head straight to the east and try to get back onto the storm. Okay, okay, so you're so he's getting fuel there real quick. Now I tell you, this is coming around here, Travis, fairly quickly. Uh, you almost, depending on how long it takes you to get fuel, you you almost may have to try and go north on that. Um, you know, if you if you head out 60 there, if you head out 60, it may take you a little too long. That one's wrapping up, and in fact, let's go and take a look at velocities. While Travis is getting gas there, let's take a look at velocities, and we'll get right back to his uh, his live shot that he had of it. So yeah, so this is what we call now a developing couplet. We're going to zoom on for for our friends there in Medford, uh, you folks in Medford. Um, this is definitely a heads up. This is what we're talking about right here. And uh, so we have, we have this broad area of spin. So we have the red and greens. This is a broad area of spin here. But what we're getting is a couple little pixels where we maybe have a little bit of enhancement, maybe a little bit of a spin up here. And folks, that's just on the western sides of Medford. There's no tornado warning in effect. Uh, we did have an re unconfirmed report of maybe a little bit of a spin up earlier. Uh, sometimes with these, especially in northern Oklahoma, you can get a lot of blowing dust that sometimes will look like a spin up. But I tell you what, at least here over the last 10 minutes, uh, this one is intensifying up there. So uh, at least the spin rate is increasing up here. The mesocyclone rate is increasing. And again, we're tracking this very carefully. Uh, and uh, man, I tell you what, uh, just with that latest scan that came in here, folks, this is, so this is a developing couplet. See, the, see where the red and greens and where they're getting tight right there? Uh, that's trying to go gate to gate. And uh, that's going to be that's going to be on the northern sides of Medford. You folks in Medford, if anyone up there in Medford is watching this, I tell you what, you folks, if you're in Medford or northern Grant County, uh, I would start at least thinking about taking my tornado precautions, if not taking them. There's officially no tornado warning in effect, uh, but again, we're getting some fairly strong indications here uh, that again, this thing is trying to wrap up and maybe uh, produce something. Our storm tracker, Travis Sheets, he's just south of it. And this may be trying to do something right now, Travis, I can tell you that. Uh, let's go back to uh, reflectivity here. And again, this is in far northern Oklahoma. Let me go and zoom out and I'll show you folks where we're talking about. This is in Grant County, far northern Oklahoma. You see Medford, you see Ponca City there. Uh, but again, the all indications here in the Storm Center, folks, and officially there's no tornado warning in effect. Uh, but again, all indications are, is this is really trying to wrap up. And uh, we are getting some indications here, at least with the velocities, that we're getting a, a nice, we'll call this a decent, uh, a decent couplet now developing again with these red and greens coming together high velocity green high velocity red coming together trying to go gate to gate there on the northern sides of Medford Travis is going to be back on 81 or or again at least uh, in, in moving I don't know if he's going to be on 81 or not here in just a second and we'll get an update but at least this evening this has been the strongest rotation that again we've had uh, on this storm this evening so uh, let's go and take a look at the broad view again here and while Travis is getting gas there, I want to go back down across parts of west central Oklahoma. And uh, this storm, it's still hanging on. This one is west of the Oklahoma City metro. This is one we definitely have to keep our eyes on here as well. And uh, this is where Trey is, Trey Smith. 
is on this one down here. Severe thunderstorm warning continues on this one for the Minko Tuttle north of Amber area, uh, northern Grady County here. Uh, this is going to be for quarter size hail and again winds over 60 miles per hour. It's severe, uh, but again right now it's not um, it's not too ominous, I'll put it that way. But the only reason why we keep stressing this one is that it's tracking towards the southwestern sides of the metro. So if for any reason it does intensify quickly, you folks there on the southwestern sides of the metro, you definitely need to be staying weather aware. Uh, let's take a look at Trey's live stream here. And uh, Trey, let's, uh, if we can, get your live stream pulled up here. And Trey, if you're on the live line, go ahead and give us an update with uh, what you're seeing uh, on that uh, cell. This is his live shot. And uh, Trey, if you're on the live line, go ahead and give us a live update. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen some rotation on this. So I've got a like a, a, a very wide, rain-free bay. Uh, it's still trying to get its act together down here. It's it's still hanging on, despite uh, we've lost our sun. Uh, but it, it it it's definitely rotating rotating. I've got a uh, striations in this uh, cell that I can see at the on the lower small on the lower end of it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, so we're continuing to track that one there uh, as well, Trey. I'm just looking over some new data in here in the forecast center that's uh, just now coming in as well. So for our friends there on the southwestern sides of the metro, uh, keep your eyes on this one. Uh, looks like there might be a little bit of intensification here over the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, again, there's some at least broad, we'll call this spin within that storm and the reason for that as we head into the evening uh, the atmosphere there's just going to be more spin i know that sounds very basic and very general but that's the absolute truth as this upper level storm system uh, starts to eject and move through oklahoma there's going to be some enhanced spin and any of these storms will have an opportunity to at least start to produce a mesocyclone and producing a mesocyclone could have an opportunity to produce a tornado. We're not saying there will be any tornadoes tonight, but there is a tornado watch in effect. And that's why at least over the next couple hours, we need to watch all of these very carefully because again, the atmosphere is gonna start spinning more over the next uh, several hours. Uh, let's go back up to uh, North Central Oklahoma. And again, our other supercell we have up there, uh, that's the one that, uh, that's the one that um, uh, Travis Sheets has been on. He just got gas. And I tell you what, this one here right over the Medford area, uh, this one really means business, folks. And let's go back to Travis's live shot. Travis, I don't know, it looks, it looks like you're mobile again. Go ahead and give us an update if you're still on the live line. I know you're heading, uh, you may be heading north on, on, now out of Pond Creek, but give us an update with what you're seeing on that one. Right now I'm headed uh, east. I'm trying to get to Lamont and then go north. Right now, you can see, I don't put my pin my shot over. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we may have lost you. It sounds like you're maybe just in and out there just a little bit. Your stream, it's a little intermittent, but remember, folks, he's up there in far northern Oklahoma. So again, sometimes this happens. The stream's a little bit out. Sometimes the cell phone connection's a little bit out. Uh, but it looks like he's trying to round the corner there. We see some lightning there in front of you. So again, some fairly dynamic pictures. And there as he's turning the corner, folks. So this is important here. So see these striations. This is the bell. This is the mesocyclone. And that's a great shot there now from Travis. See the striations. This is the spin within that storm. That's a large mesocyclone right there Travis you're turning right into it now and uh, so tell us again where you are because that's basically moving through the uh, Medford area uh, right now so tell us again exactly where you are right now I'm directly south of Medford I am on Highway 60 going to Lamont okay to go north. okay yeah that, that's a good plan definitely um, definitely stay uh, on that uh, you're getting maybe a little bit further to the south on that uh, but if you can get to Lamont north for sure um, you know, I, how far how far out of Pond Creek are, are you? Are you how far east are you out of Pond Creek now? Uh, probably seven miles. Okay, because you could have also taken eighty one, went up to Medford, and then shot over to the east up there as well. Because there's still a bit of a northeasterly jog to this storm, so it's in Medford, but it's slowly going to lift to the northeast. Uh, so our friends, uh, really from the Deer Creek area, north of Deer Creek, Renfro, back up through even near Bremen there and parts of K County. You folks definitely stay weather aware with this. So it's not, um, it's not uh, again, producing a tornado right now. There's no tornado warning with this. But again, if you've lived in Oklahoma long enough, you know this is a supercell. There's spin within this storm. And again, these are what we call fast changing weather conditions. And again, just by looking at Travis's shot here, his live stream, as he's on that storm, again, we just saw the striations and the motion uh, within that storm as well. So uh, this is kind of cycled up and cycled down as we've gone throughout the late afternoon and the evening now. 
and of course we're continuing to track it. And uh, Travis, as you're uh, tracking eastbound there, you're looking up to the north on it. Uh, again, what are you seeing as far as, as far as the actual structure of the storm, the striations? Uh, does it look like it's intensifying any from your perspective where you are right now? It does. You know, the back side of the storm, it, there's a little bit of rotation corkscrewed in. I'm facing the storm now. I don't know if you can see it on my screen. And we may, we actually may have just lost you, Travis. Are you still there? So again, Travis is. Yeah, I've got you now. I've got you now, Travis. Go ahead. Okay, I'm I'm facing north. And I'm going to go down this county road and try to head this off. But you can see the the huge mesocyclone right there, my mm -hmm. stream. And it, it takes about 15 seconds. There's about a 15 second delay there on your stream, Travis. But you're coming around. We see you coming around the corner right now. And uh, so we'll take a look at this. We did see the striations. We saw the large bell shape, again, just a few minutes ago. Uh, but again, we are continuing to track that. Uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and keep, uh, I'm just getting new information here to the Forecast Center too, Travis, but go ahead and give us a play-by-play -play there with what you're seeing. Well, right now, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Um, we're losing our sunlight or daylight and trying to see what's going on on the back side of the storm just off of lightning alone. Um, on the, the tail end of the storm, it appears that it is trying to send something off and it's to the west of Medford, just to the west of Medford. Okay. Yeah, we had, uh, we had the, the hook basically went right through Medford. Uh, just uh, and we'll, we'll take a look at live meso scan radar. I've got some information here for central Oklahoma here real quick too. And actually before we cut off of that, Travis, we see your shot right there. There's, and, and before it gets totally dark, look at this base, folks. This is the meso, look how big this is. This, now this is a big supercell. Okay, look at this, this whole area here, this, you, you can see it, there's the striations, there's the lowering, this is the big bell shape that you, we talk about all the time. This is a very large mesocyclone here. And again, this has been spinning as we've gone throughout the late afternoon into the evening. It has not produced a tornado, uh, but again, this has been a very impressive supercell and the structure with it has been very impressive as well. But again, as you're looking and waiting for the lightning to basically light up the sky, again, look at the features, look at the structure uh, with that storm right there. But Travis, go ahead. I didn't to interrupt you there. No, you're fine. I'm just still trying to get north and head the storm off. Oh, there, there's, uh, the face is lowering, and you can see that. Okay, and what I want to do here as well... I, I want to show live meso scan radar. We're going to get down to, to uh, central Oklahoma here real quick too. This is the cell that Travis is on. Uh, this is northern Oklahoma, Grant County here, Medford. Again, this is only severe. Severe thunderstorm warning continues all the way over through parts of a K County there. You folks in Enid, severe thunderstorm warning down there as well. Quarter size hail, winds over 60 miles per hour possible in the Enid area uh, here fairly quickly. So we've got to track that cell there in Enid. Uh, let's go down into parts of central Oklahoma. And this cell down here, uh, we've got to track this one carefully, folks. This is coming up in the southwestern sides of the metro. And uh, this is where Trey and Doug are. Uh, you see their live GPS. They're, they're in perfect position down there. And this one here, I tell you, the structure, folks, the structure on this one is starting to change a little. This, this is important now for the Oklahoma City metro. Uh, you see how we have this developing rain and hail core up here on the northern sides of it. And again, a lot of times when they start to get a little bit of a supercell structure, you'll start to see a little bit of a hook. You'll start to see a little bit of a corkscrew motion on the back end of it. And just like that cell that Travis is on up there, that's almost what this one is looking like now across parts of northern Grady County. So we've got to track that one carefully. Uh, let's see if Trey, are you still on the live line with us? Uh, I, I was was not for a moment, but I'm back. Okay, Trey, go ahead and give us an update. It looks like with your live GPS location, you're right there on the back end of that there uh, in northern Grady County. Let's go to your live shot here. And again, this is Trey and Doug. They're now north of Chickasha, but give us an update. Are these some scud clouds now trying to move into that, uh, Trey? What are we seeing here uh, in your shot? We see uh, what looks like maybe some scud clouds or maybe even a tail cloud. Is that some inflow there on your shot? Yeah, it's got some inflow, definitely. Uh, I'm repositioning kind of a little bit to where I can get it. You're about to see it a little bit better now. Okay. As soon as I adjust the camera. What, what would you say, Trey, as you're looking at this? Because I tell you what, here on radar, and again, we never want to be alarmist here on Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV. I think we're probably the most unhyped people in Oklahoma. But um, it, it's as I'm looking at some of the radar data here, this is starting to get a little bit of a corkscrew. This is starting to come around and maybe try and develop a bit of a hook. 
and this would be really important for Oklahoma City. So uh, you're on it, you're looking at it. Uh, you've been on this storm basically for the last several hours tracking it as it formed out there in Caddo County. What are you seeing, with, this is important information now, what are you seeing with this cell now uh, there in Northern Grady County? Uh, I'm definitely seeing the rotation on it. It is increasing a little bit. Uh, hold on one moment, I gotta deal with the traffic. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to continue with your shot there. I'm going to make some adjustments on radar. I want to go to radar here in just a second as well. Travis, I know you're up there in northern Oklahoma. We're still tracking that cell, uh, that big supercell up there across north central Oklahoma. We're going to get back to you in just a minute. And I know you're repositioning up there as well. Uh, but folks, I tell you, I tell you what, let's take a look at radar here. And uh, uh, tr tr uh, let's see, uh, Trey, we'll get right back with you. I know you're there. We're still, uh, we're just, we'll get back to your shot here in a second. Um, but again, for our friends here in central Oklahoma, again, we're starting to get maybe just a little bit of a corkscrew look to this. And again, that would be important if there's maybe a little bit of rotation trying to develop in this one. So uh, again, if I live in the Oklahoma City metro, the south sides of the metro, uh, again, I'm definitely staying weather aware uh, with this cell right here. Again, with the tornado watch in effect and really heading into the evening, the deeper we get into the evening, uh, that's when um, the general spin of the atmosphere, it's going to kind of crank up a little bit. So again, we don't, we don't hype anything here on Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV. We're not going to say anything crazy is going to happen with this cell, but there is a tornado watch in effect. And again, the conditions just now, uh, really in the mid-levels and the upper levels of the atmosphere, are becoming a little more conducive for what could be some mesocyclone activity. And sometimes mesocyclone activity can lead to tornadic activity. So we all know that here in Oklahoma. And again, this one has had some general spin motion with it here uh, over the last couple hours, but it's definitely intensified. This will definitely have a hail threat as it comes into the Oklahoma City Metro. Uh, if there's any more of a threat to that, again, we're gonna start knowing here fairly quickly, at least over the next 20 to 30 minutes. So again, we don't wanna alarm anybody, but everyone really needs to stay weather aware. Uh, you know, we've dealt with these supercells in the Oklahoma City Metro before. We know what that's all about. So not saying that's what's gonna happen, but we're tracking this one carefully and again Trey's on that one he's got a pretty good live shot of it now and uh, Trey go ahead and give us an update I know it's starting to get dark out there now but you're on the live line go ahead and tell us what you're seeing on that one uh, yeah uh, I'm starting to see a lot more lightning out of this this is very has intensified because lightning picking up in intensification it is a sign that the storm itself is intensifying uh, but I'm still seeing the rotation in the base of this uh it's not very fast rotation but it is there uh it is there like i said yeah well i'm looking at some velocities here there's some there's some real broad general rotation with this so and again this is important so when we're talking about rotation especially with cells coming up in the oklahoma city metro the only thing we don't want to do we don't want to alarm anybody we don't want to cause any kind of panic but this is important information whenever you have a tornado watch in effect for the oklahoma city metro and again we have a, what could be a, a strengthening uh we'll call it a thunderstorm for right now to the southwest of the metro and again conditions over the next hour to two hours will be a little more favorable for some spin within these thunderstorms that does not mean there's going to be any kind of tornadic activity so far today even with that big supercell that travis has been on up there in north central oklahoma it has not produced a confirmed tornado so again so far no tornadoes in oklahoma uh, but again this is one it's just one we want to pay extra special attention to anytime you have again this kind of environment and again developing thunderstorm activity coming in now on the southwestern sides of the metro so again that's trey's live shot there uh, this is the cell we're going to take a look here at live mesoscan radar then we'll go back up north uh, we'll go back up north to that one that Travis is on, the big supercell up there. And, um, you know, the only thing is we take a look at this. We'll pull this uh, radar image here around just a little bit. And again, this severe thunderstorm warning, it's basically for Minko Tuttle all the way up through uh, the Mustang area. Uh, now, as we're looking at this, the only thing, just looking at radar, the only thing that kind of gets our attention a little bit is this back end appendage. And a lot of times on these supercells, when they kind of start to spin around a little bit, that's where you start getting those back end appendages. So again, not to alarm anybody, this is only a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, but again, this is one we've really got to pay attention to. I just really can't underscore that enough, especially as the environment now is starting to be a little more conducive for spin. Uh, now, Trey's on it. You see his live GPS location. I mean, they're right where they need to be. They're looking due north at it. And again, we'll take a look at his live shot. It's starting to get fairly dark out here again. Uh, but as we go back to your live shot, Trey, um, you know, again, it's getting dark. So it's getting fairly hard for us and the viewers to see what's going on. Uh, so you've really got to be our play-by-play -play guy here. Uh, so as you're looking at this, you're in perfect position. You're looking at where, uh, again, any type of mid-level rotation would be at this stage of the storm's life. Uh, again, what are you seeing? Are you seeing any type of lowering with this at all? What's the structure of the actual storm like that you're looking at? 
And if Trey, if you're still on the live line with us, did, or did we lose you? No, I didn't take it off of you. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, uh, basically, the uh, easiest way to describe this is going to be like a UFO. It's got that big striation, like a plate of pancakes uh, look to it, and it's got a little bitty area of lowered lowering, and mm -hmm. What I can see, I can't. I haven't been up into the hail core to play around in there yet to see what all is up going on up in there. But I do have a little bit of an area off to my left here that is a little bit lower than the rest of it. it, it I can't tell that it's spinning at the moment just because it's getting dark. But I can see that it is a little bit lower than the rest of the clouds. And that's a great way to describe it, Trey. That's that's right on the money the way you're describing it. Let me tell you this. I want to go back up to northern Oklahoma. We've got some changing. Uh, we've got some changes up here. Uh, so we've got fast changing weather conditions all day, folks. That's the way we've described it. This is where Travis Sheets is. We're going to take a look at his live shot again here in a minute and get him back on the live line. This was the big supercell up here in northern Grant County. This big supercell is what we call lining out. This is turning into a line of thunderstorm activity. I'll show you from Enon now all the way up through Medford and the Renfro area. Uh, so again, kind of the spin that we were tracking within this storm it's kind of starting to go away let's get uh travis's um live shot up up there let's go and take a look at that and travis are you still on the live line with us this yes, is this, this is his live shot up there i know it's getting dark folks so it's 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 going to be almost uh crunch time here for any of these live shots we're we're basically having to wait for lightning to light up the sky or the headlights there uh now travis you're north of pond creek now i know you're, you're still looking at that cell it looks like the dynamics of that one have really changed. It looks like it's more elongated. It looks like kind of the supercell structure has gone away. Is that what you're seeing? I know it's dark, uh, but kind of give us an update from up there in uh, Grant County. Yeah, I'm looking at the radar also, and that's exactly what it looks like. That the supercell is really just kind of dying off, really. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly what we're seeing from here as well. And I know it's fairly dark. What else are you seeing? How, how's the lightning rate? I know there's also a flash flood warning up there in effect as well. Uh, lots of heavy rain right there around the Medford area. Where are you at now? Are you still north of Pond Creek? I am to the east of Medford on a county road. Okay, so you're just east of Medford up there. Okay, so, and again, your shot, it's fairly dark right now. We're really not able to see much. Again, Travis is up there. He's going to continue to watch that one. He's going to bring us any updates as needed on that. Let's go and take a look at the overview on uh, north central Oklahoma. And again, what's going on up there? Let me go and zoom this out. And again, that was at least early this afternoon, or late this afternoon, I should say, early this evening. Uh, that was kind of the main show. That was a fairly, what we would call a beastie supercell. That was a beast of a supercell. Uh, it had a, a very pronounced hook on it, uh, but it never produced a tornado at all, which is good. Anytime uh, we don't have any tornadic activity, that is always good. That's the way we like it here at Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV. But now still across north central Oklahoma from Enid, uh, back up through the Medford area, you see this developing line now. And this is basically developing along the dry line up there. Uh, severe weather, an opportunity for some 60 mile per hour winds and also some half dollar size hail in the Enid area. And then also up there near the Medford area. Also with that, uh, that aqua polygon, the aqua box you're seeing up there, that's gonna be a flash flood warning for some heavy rain also up there uh, near the Medford area as well. So again, that's what's going on up there in north central Oklahoma. Uh, the other area of concern we still have, folks, and again, we just, we're going to keep highlighting this, is what's going on down here on the southwestern sides of the metro. Right now we have, uh, we'll call this a general, very basic severe thunderstorm uh, that it's coming into the southwestern sides of the metro. Uh, however, it's discreet. It's by itself. There's nothing else around. It's just out here floating in basically the middle of nowhere. But it is coming in on the southwestern sides of the metro. Tornado watch is in effect. And this storm, it has had, again, what we'll call mid-level rotation, no low-level rotation at all, but at least from time to time, some vigorous mid-level rotation. So again, you know, a lot of times these storms, these, uh, again, even supercells will form just like in northern Oklahoma, they never produce a tornado, but we still have to be on guard. We still have to track them very carefully, especially with this tornado watching effect here, at least for another couple hours uh, right here in central Oklahoma. Now, Trey uh, Smith has been on this cell. You see his live GPS there. Uh, let's go to his live shot here. And again, a lot of these live shots here really throughout the rest of the evening, they're going to be pretty hard to see because it's getting dark now, obviously. Uh, but Trey, if you're still on the live line here with us, again, it looks like you're uh, uh, looks like you're just north of Amber there with your live GPS. Go ahead and give us an update. Tell us what you're seeing. I know you're basically having to wait for lightning to light up the sky where you are, but go ahead and give us an update from there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that area that I said, like I said, was a little bit lower than the rest of it still. Uh, but still basically just a flying saucer-shaped supercell here. 
or potentially non-supercell, but it is still got some rotation to it. And like I said, I'm starting to see this area spin, uh, that's lower than the rest, like a, almost trying to form a wall cloud here. I can, I'm starting to see that a little bit more pronounced with the, with the lightning. Right. Yeah, well, I'm just looking at some of the new data here in the uh, forecast center here as well, Trey. And as all this is kind of coming in, we're zooming in. I, I cut away from your live shot just for the fact it's so dark. Uh, we're going to cut away from that for just a second. Uh, but what I want to do, I want to look at some velocities here. We're going to take a look inside this storm. And there's nothing super concerning right now. Now, on the back end of it, where Trey is, where Trey is in perfect position looking to the north here. You see his live GPS down there. He's looking to the north. Um, you know, I mean, we have a general area of what we maybe call some mid-level spin. This is nothing concerning right now, but we've got to continue to track this. And it may sound like a broken record, but anytime there's a tornado watching effect for the Oklahoma City Metro, you have a storm out there all by itself. We all know about what we call a discrete storm. And again, we have some upper level support that may be a little more conducive for some mesocyclone development over the next hour or so. Again, you know, we're going to track that very carefully. So we don't want to sound like a broken record, but this is important information. And anytime there's a tornado watching effect, like in a lot of people in Oklahoma, they do get some anxiety, um, you know, so we, we try and cover that very carefully. And again, that's what we're doing right here. Again, not trying to sound like a broken record. Of course, we've also been tracking what's going on in northern Oklahoma with Travis Sheets very carefully as well. He's been doing a great job up there. Uh, but let's take a look at the hill core tracker here. And we'll take a look at the hill possibilities uh, within the cell. And uh, as we do that, again, you can see there's, it's at least a pronounced tail core. There's some dimes to quarters here. The weather service is warning on this for quarters. And again, you see that area of orange going to yellow. Uh, that's where the quarter size hail possibly could be. And again, the general motion, at least with the hail core, which is also concerning, is heading up towards the uh, Tuttle area. So you folks there in Tuttle, again, heads up with that. Again, quarter size hail, nothing super ridiculous out of it, uh, at least right now. Uh, so let's go back over to a normal reflectivity mode here. And as we do that, we'll go and put this into motion and we'll put this into a movie mode here over about the last 90 minutes or so. And again, you can see that cell basically uh, moving and developing and not a lot of change with it. Uh, it's just, it, it's, it's a severe thunderstorm, but it's just the run of the mill uh, severe thunderstorm right now. Now, again, it's in an environment that again is at least going to be a little more conducive or maybe a little bit of spin, a little bit of mesocyclone activity here, uh, maybe over the next hour. And again, this is moving directly into the metro. So what you need to know right now, if you live in the metro or the southwestern sides of the metro, is that again, you have a general severe thunderstorm moving in your direction. There's going to be heavy rain. There's going to be lightning. And again, there's going to be an opportunity for some of that quarter size hell. So again, it's a fairly run of the mill situation right now. But again, keep in mind that tornado watch is in effect. And again, as our friends in northern Oklahoma and Travis Sheets, our storm tracker up there can tell you, we had some fast changing weather conditions earlier tonight. And that can also be possible even right here in the Oklahoma City metro. Uh, now let's take a look up in North Oklahoma again as well. Let's go ahead and pause this uh, animation and we'll go up into a northern Oklahoma. We'll actually, we'll widen out the view here, first of all. And so we have that activity here in central Oklahoma, and that's all that's going on in central Oklahoma. And then as we take a look up across parts of north central Oklahoma, again, we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for the Medford area, also over through the Enid area. Now that cell in Medford, again, that was a supercell we were tracking for most of the late afternoon, early evening, this cell right here. And again, that's the one that Travis Sheets was on, had some fairly dramatic video with that. We had possibly an unconfirmed spin up with that. Um, uh, that was from a different storm tracker. We had an unconfirmed report of that earlier. Uh, but again, at least uh, we had a fairly pronounced wall cloud. Uh, we had some fairly tight rotation on radar. But again, most indications are that storm never actually produced uh, a tornado earlier today. Uh, now, who do we have on the live line? Travis, are you still on the live line with us? We may have lost him up there. But Travis Sheets was doing an amazing job tracking that storm up there. We may have temporarily lost him off the live line. And it's getting so dark, it's really not worth going to his live video right now. Again, only because it's getting so dark. But again, Travis is still up there on that storm, and we'll, we'll continue to check in with him as needed. Trey is on that storm west of the Oklahoma City Metro. We're going to get back to that one in a minute as well. Our friends in western Garfield County around the Enid area, again, heavy rain, lightning, quarter plus size hail possible, moving on into the Enid area, so we're tracking that carefully as well. But uh, at least the, um, uh, well, we'll say at least the uh, potential tornado threat that was at least looked like it was trying to evolve across northern Grant County a little bit earlier this evening. Again, right now, now at least it looks like that's starting to come down. But again, Travis Sheets, again, he's still up there on that storm tracking it. Uh, again, very carefully, we'll check back in with him as soon as he's back on the live line here in a few minutes. Uh, here in the Oklahoma City Metro, as we zoom on in here, let's go and take a closer look at what's happening here. And again, Trey Smith on this cell. 
And uh, again, we're tracking this one carefully, but there's really just not a lot of change. There's not a lot happening with this. Quarter size hail possible. And again, some winds over 60 miles per hour also possible with this. Uh, but again, as far as anything and more, nothing has happened with this and that's good. That's definitely the way we want it. But again, this is gonna be tracking through the southern sides of the Oklahoma City Metro here uh, really over the next hour or so. So really from the Norman Moore area all the way up through the airport, uh, the I-240 area, all the way up even through downtown Oklahoma City, the Bricktown area, even maybe as far north as Penn Square Mall. Again, you folks heads up as this is tracking through. But again, right now, it's just a general uh, severe thunderstorm. Again, with that quarter size hail and winds over 60 miles per hour. Trey Smith, if you're still on the live line with us, uh, go ahead and give us an update. I know you're still tracking that cell, but tell us what you're seeing out there on it. Uh, yeah, we see this. Uh, I know you're not seeing it on the radar, but we keep seeing this little bowl funnel try and form on it every now and then. It'll come down and go back up. And I mean, it still has that classic uh, pancake stack look to it. And I can see a little bit of an RFD cut coming in where just a just because I can see the, what's left of the sunlight bouncing off the other side of the clouds. Let's see if we can cell. see. Let, let's go to your live shot. We'll, we'll try and see. It's just getting so dark. We don't want to just leave a completely black screen yeah. up there. But let's see what we can see in your live shot. And um, sure. again, Hold so... On. One moment. Yeah. And I'm so... pull my camera outside the car. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll go... Uh, we'll, we'll get your uh, shot again ready here. As soon as you have it ready, we'll take it. And um, so again, what we're looking at here, again, this is a general severe thunderstorm. We have some more intense weather across northern Oklahoma. If you're just now joining us here on Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV, uh, right around 7.48 this evening. Uh, again, we were tracking some fairly intense weather across northern Oklahoma with Travis Sheets earlier this evening. Uh, we had a fairly beastly supercell up there with large hail. And again, we had some fairly vigorous rotation with that one earlier today and never at least uh, produced a, a confirmed tornado there in northern Oklahoma. And now we're continuing to track that, but we're also tracking, again, this uh, at least right now, this general severe thunderstorm that's moving in on the southwestern sides of the Oklahoma City Metro. So if you live in the Oklahoma City yeah. Metro, especially the southwestern sides, we're gonna take a look at Trey's live shot here. Let's actually go and pull that up, Trey. Let's see what we can see here on it. Again, it's getting fairly dark out there, so it's fairly hard to see. And uh, yeah, it's fairly dark there, Trey. So we're, not, we're really not able to see much. As the lightning lights this up, uh, we might be able to see something here in a minute. Uh, but if not, we'll go ahead and switch off of that. But Trey, go ahead and keep giving us an update. Trey's still looking at this cell. Again, the uh, upper level dynamics with this activity today has been at least conducive for mid-level rotation. So again, a lot of these storms have been producing some spin, but it's all at the mid-levels. It's nothing that's really worked its way down to the surface. And that's what this storm was even presenting us with earlier. Uh, again, in the daylight hours, you can actually see the uh, bell shape uh, structure to the storm and also some of the striations, which would be a little more indicative of some rotation. So uh, again, but no low level rotation, no immediate tornado threat, nothing like that at all. Uh, but again, that's just some of the dynamics that we're seeing out there today uh, with the structures of these thunderstorms. So Trey, you're still looking at it. Again, your, your shot's fairly dark. We'll see if there's any lightning that can light up the sky. If not, we'll go back to radar. But go ahead and give us an update again. You're still looking at it there live as it's now moving into the uh, southwestern sides of the metro. Yeah, I mean, I can still see just kind of, hold on, sorry, traffic. Uh, I can kind of still see just off the glow of the city lights in the distance. I can still see, a, it still has a little bit of a lowering, a little bit lower now. And it still has that classic, uh, like I said, pancake stack look on it. But, I mean, the lightning's not too impressive. It has come down a little bit, but when it does light up, I can still see rotation in this. Yeah, and Trey, go ahead and give me an update. Tell me again exactly where you are. Now, folks, okay, so now a little bit of a change here now. And uh, let me let me go and back the radar up here just a little bit. And so we're going to track this carefully as this one comes on into the Oklahoma City Metro. And uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. And so what we don't want to see, I can tell you what we don't want to see right now, is what we would call a classic supercell look like the other storm in northern Oklahoma took on earlier, where we have heavy rain and hail on the northern sides of it and a hook developing on the southern side. So what this right here is, is this another shower trying to develop right now? We don't know. Or is this maybe something more trying to develop a little back independence? Trey, where are you at exactly? Your GPS is still showing you west of Highway 81. Tell us where you are exactly right now. I am like a half, not even a half mile, maybe a quarter mile of the Salt Creek Casino on Highway 81. I'm still on 81. Trey, I look. Don't know if yeah, we know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Let me ask you this. Look off to your northeast. Look off to your northeast. Yeah, and 
Tell me what you're seeing off to your northeast there. I am seeing the dry agent still from mm -hmm. a rotating super uh, thunderstorm, and I do see a lowering, not a very well lowering. It could be a yeah. gust front. So okay, so what? The lightning's not bright enough. All right. So we're going to take this minute by minute. We're going to take this minute by minute. And so, you know, this is important information. There's a tornado watch in effect. We're never alarmist. We never hype anything here on Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV. We're going to take this minute by minute because we might have some uh, fast changing weather conditions trying to happen here now. And this is important for the Oklahoma City Metro. So we're looking at live velocities here and we're getting a little bit of spin now on the back end of this. This is mid-level spin. This is nowhere near tornadic. There's no tornado genesis. There's nothing like that happening at all at this minute in time. But just like in northern Oklahoma, I think this is starting to take on a little bit more of a supercell structure. I think we're getting a little bit of spin here on the back end, and I think we might be getting what we're trying to develop into, what, what might be trying to develop into a bit of a hook on the back end of this. This storm has not been super impressive as we've gone throughout the day. It's been run of the mill. It hasn't really tried to do a lot, but as we're looking at this now, as we're looking at this now, so that's still there, even with the new scan, this could be trying to develop a hook on the back end of it. Trey is right here. He's on the back side of it looking at this storm. And again, this has got now some at least broad rotation with it, Trey. These are fast changing weather conditions now. Trey, where are you at again exactly? Is your, you may want to hit your GPS and make sure that's updating live. Uh, because again, we want to track this. We want to track this carefully. And Trey, he's live streaming, but it's so dark. There's really not a lot for us to see. And uh, again, you know, we don't. We, you know, there's a tornado watching effect, and I know anytime we talk about the word, the T word, the tornado word, or mesocyclones, or anything like that, again, uh, you know, obviously it gives a lot of people in Oklahoma anxiety, and I understand that completely. And that's why we're tracking this here very carefully. But these are minute by minute changes happening now uh, with this storm on the western sides of the metro. And uh, as we're watching this here. And we'll wait for a couple more radar scans to come in, uh, but what it's starting to look to me like a little bit here, folks, is just like in northern Oklahoma, if you've been watching us throughout the day and the evening, uh, that cell up there in northern Oklahoma, it was a classic supercell with heavy rain and hail to the north, and then we had a developing hook on the backside. And uh, 